Hi, everybody. This is Yuri from Sure. We've recently had the opportunity to record music at the world-famous electrical audio recording facility in Chicago. And for the next set of How Do You Do That videos, I'll break down in detail some of our microphone choices and placements, and maybe even talk a little bit about the mixing process. For this video, we will focus on the guitar amp and demonstrate that microphone placement just might be the most important aspect of your recording process. Let's have some fun. Everybody, this is Yuri from Sheriff. Hi, I'm Taylor. Hi, I'm Belle. Hi, I'm John from World Famous Electrical Audio here in Chicago, Illinois. The good news about recording guitar amps is that it is really not that difficult. Because the microphones tend to be very close to the sound source, and the sounds tends to be pretty loud, you can generally eliminate the effect of the acoustics of the room and put most of your attention on microphone placement and microphone choice. Like many other engineers, when I record guitar amps, I like to combine a dynamic microphone and a ribbon microphone together. In this case, I chose a Shure SM57 dynamic mic and a Shure KSM313 ribbon microphone. I've also added a KSM137 condenser microphone, just for fun. A friendly reminder that when you're miking the same sound source with more than one mic, it's important to align the capsules so that the sound arrives to all of the microphones at the same time. Now, you'd expect that the darkest tone would be picked up by the KSM313 ribbon mic. Then it will get a little bit brighter when we use the SM57 dynamic mic, and then the brightest sound would come from the condenser mic, the KSM137. Let's take a listen. So what is going on here? I've always been told that condenser microphones tend to be brighter sounding and ribbon microphones tend to be darker sounding. Well, the answer is that quite often, the speakers inside a guitar cabinet are very unique and special creatures. In general, if you're positioning the microphone pointed at the center of the speaker cone, you're going to get more high frequencies or brightness. And as you move away from the center, you will get less and less high frequency content. And this is precisely what's happening. The KSM313 ribbon mic was right in the center of the speaker cone, while the SM57 and the KSM137 were closer to the edge of the speaker cone. And it's pretty evident that in this case, the brightness or darkness of the location of the speaker cone affects the guitar tone more drastically than any inherent bright or dark characteristics of the microphone itself. With guitar amplifiers, placement is by far the biggest factor. During the mix, I personally like to combine the different tones I record with multiple mics, and usually I choose the dynamic ribbon combination on guitar amps. Here's how the different combinations sound, and you can make your own choice to the tone that you like the best. Finally, just in case I'm unhappy with any of my mic placements or the choice of amplifier that we used, I also recorded a DI feed so that I can keep the dry guitar performance as a backup and throw it into a different amplifier later. Well, that's all for today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and stay tuned for more behind the scenes recording videos at Electrical Audio from our team at Sure.